this is Tim here. I wanted to show you a new technique for measuring dissolved oxygen that seems more reliable than what we've followed in the past. You might remember in the past, we just simply put the probe into the stormwater sample and just, and we noticed that the dissolved oxygen milligrams per liter number, that's line number four on the instrument, it just keeps dropping and it didn't inspire a lot of confidence. Right now, it's dropped to about 11.8 Two. However, we have discovered that if we rotate this around the diameter of the cup, we will now see the numbers rise if they were falling. And they will rise, you keep spinning until the numbers no longer rise. And at about this pace, I'm tilting this a little bit so that you can see that I'm going around the diameter of the inside of the cup. But the pace for this is 12.32, and it's holding that number. It hops up and down 12.33, um, 12.32. I'm just watching the numbers go back and forth. That's the technique. You might be persuaded to grab this by the cable and do this, stirring action or swirling action or wanding action. You can pick it. But by hanging onto the cable, we'll eventually cause strain and stress on this cable, so it's smarter to grab by the large top of the um, probe itself. And I'm just actually letting the bottom of the probe ride around on the bottom of the cup. And I'm just conforming to the diameter of the cup and spinning fast enough so that I'm still at my, yep, yeah, 12, 1233, 1232. This is consistently working. That's the new technique. If you've got questions about this, let me know. If you have better ideas than this, love to see them. And good luck with your surveys. So thank you very much.